Hey guys, so I understand I went AWOL for a little while. I did a reintroduction video about three months ago. It's funny, I went back to my YouTube just to even see like where I left off at because I did a reintroduction video back then and I was going to start vlogging again. That was when things just finally started to settle down. I had changed my job and I fell off again, not purposely, so I guess. Three months later, I'm going to tell you guys what I've been doing. I did not stop working out that whole time, so I will show you guys my weight and a, um update and how I look now. I feel like I have different aesthetics quite a bit within three months because I never stopped working out. I switched from some CrossFit type training to some bulking, even though I am much smaller. I'm a lot more cut than I was. Uh, I still do work with that same company that I was working with before I left my vlogs, which is the Light Life Company. It's doing very, very well. About three, two or three weeks ago, we had our first photo shoot, and that was a lot of fun. I actually do not like taking pictures. I don't like being in front of cameras. Huh, funny, I'm a vlogger. No, actually, that's actually one of the reasons why I want to come back into vlogging and why I like it, which I'll go into that in a little bit more after. But I stopped vlogging, um, I just got busy again. I had just switched into a new job, I was trying to set that up and deal with that. I had, I think I was still living in the same place, I've moved so many times it's kind of hard to like keep track. I believe I was still living in the same place, but I was having a lot going on and I was halfway dating, not dating. I was definitely in a situationship more than anything. That took up a lot of my time. School took up a lot of my time. I was a student. I was working as much as I possibly could, full time. Still working out. I never stopped working out. It just got a little bit more difficult to take care of footage. And we lost one of our partners. And he was one of my best friends. I really wish he was still around, but he no longer is within the company. Somebody that I mentioned in a previous video back, if you watched it. So, things just kind of flipped around to where, like, as I was going to work out with our other coach, Ryan, who is still there, um, we were just always either talking about something or there was just, like, it wasn't, it didn't feel, of course it was still fun because I enjoyed it, but it wasn't, um, it just wasn't the same to keep doing videos, I guess. It was just kind of like, I'm going in, I'm getting my workout. And I also had just so much on my mind. And I felt like we had like so many life talks. Because like I said before, he's also a pastor. And he was just encouraging me in a lot of different things. Like I said, that I'm just going to keep calling it a situation ship. We go in and talk about that. And we talk about, you know, like some financial obligations I had. Some worries with school. Like some different things. I also had some health issues going on. Um... I, way back when, I believe I mentioned in health, a health issue, but I don't think I ever disclosed any of it. I don't want to fully disclose a lot of things, I guess. But I did have two um, benign tumors in my breast. I'm good. Everything's good. Um, I had an abnormal pap. Everything's good. <laughs> I had... Some very simple infections, which I don't even want to really talk about that because that's just weird. I feel like it's normal. I'm supposed to be transparent with you guys. But um, that actually came about even just from workout clothes. So I guess for any women who are watching, um, at a young age, some of us can be very, very prone to like yeast and stuff, especially from working out and like our leggings, which is what we always wear. So be very careful with that. Be very careful with your body. Take care of it. Your body's your temple. I had that. I just had a lot of things going on, and at the time, when I had things going on with my body, I had no idea what was going on with my body, which made me very anxious and just, like, nervous, and it made me also very depressed. It kind of pushed me into a depressed state again, because I feel like people say, even though the things that were happening to me, I guess I could say were pretty simple, but I was kind of worried, because some stuff could have been way worse than they were. But I didn't know it at the time. I didn't really know what was wrong. But I still felt like since I didn't really know what was wrong and I knew something was different with my body, it made me sad because I feel like people 